Here are the course policies. There are three important ones. The purpose of this course is for you to learn things that you do not already know. The purpose is not to demonstrate that you already know things in the course, but to learn them. Therefore, you should never feel bad if you don't understand something yet. You should just keep working at it until you understand. I will not tolerate students who say disrespectful or rude remarks to other students who haven't mastered the material yet. If you meet somebody who hasn't understood something yet, don't give them a hard time. Help them out. And in this way, you will build community. You're welcome to work with other people on problems in this course. You can discuss any problem you want, except for on the exams. And I really encourage you to do so. In fact, some students find that the best part of 61A is the opportunity to help other people learn. And that's really valuable. One of the most important things you can learn to do while you're an undergraduate is learn how to explain stuff to other people, especially technical material. So if you have a question, go ahead and ask your peers. Or you can ask the course staff. The role of the course staff is to help you succeed. They are not here to judge you. They are not here to determine whether you're good enough to study computer science. They are here to make sure that if you put in time and energy to learning this material, that time and energy is spent well and that you learn a lot in the process. There are more course policies. You can read them online. One particular policy I'll talk about is collaboration. Asking questions is highly encouraged. You can ask questions of me or the course staff or each other. Learn from your fellow students. Some projects can be completed with a partner. And if you're working on something with a partner, you can share everything. I recommend choosing a partner from your discussion section. That makes life so much easier because you'll have the same TA. There is a limit to the collaboration you're allowed to do. Please don't look at somebody else's code in order to solve a problem. Instead, write your own code. Now, in lab, you can pretty much do whatever you want. If you want to work in groups, that's fine. But on homework and projects, you need to write your own code. Well, if you have a project partner, you can share with them, but you shouldn't be reading anybody else's code except for your project partner unless you've already solved a problem. Then you can look at other students' attempts to solve the same problem and give them tips. But don't tell them the answer. That's the deal. You can look at them to give them a suggestion. You can point to what they're doing wrong. You can describe to them how to fix it in English. Just don't tell them exactly what to type and don't type it for them. You'll learn more, they'll learn more. Everybody wins. Copying project solution does cause people to fail this course. And I don't want you to fail this course, so don't copy your project solutions. We really do catch people who violate the rules, and we're getting better at it all the time. But don't just not copy because you'll get caught, and you will get caught. But instead, do it in order to build good habits now. Out there in the world, there are no solutions to copy there are plenty of people to discuss problems with, so build that habit now. But don't just copy the answers from the internet or from your friends.